Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle video. Today we've got an absolute banger of a match as we go head to head with none other than Caddy, aka Demonic Golfer, aka a mod in the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. This is going to be an epic showdown you won't want to miss. Caddy's team is always unpredictable, and they brought some serious firepower this time, but we're ready. Our star player today is none other than Cinderace, and let me tell you, this thing is about to put in the work. Before we jump into the battle, of course, make sure to subscribe to Demonic Golfer on YouTube, my opponent. You'll definitely want to check out their side of the battle and see what strategies they've been cooking up. Now, let's dive in. We've got some incredible plays, clutch moments, and Cinderace is going to pull off some serious plays. So without further ado, let's see who comes out on top. Alright, Caddy has brought a pretty cool team with the Dragapult, the Corviknight, the Stonjourner, however have you pronounce that, Gastrodon, Alolan Muk, and a Gardevoir. Awesome team, that Stonjourner is really cool to see, even if I can't pronounce the name right. Uh, I don't think anyway. I might, I might be pronouncing it right. I might be just talking crap. But anyway, um, looking at this matchup, I'd say uh, they probably lead with Dragapults. Because Dragapult does pretty well against our team. Um, I might lead with Bastiodon straight up. Because I don't see leading off with Gastrodon. I can see them leading off with Dragapult though. And then we can go for a foul play and just take it out. That'd be awesome. Let's go with the um, Bastiodon lead. We can also get Stealth Rocks up as well depending on what they lead with. Um, so we'll do that and then we'll go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Caddy, aka Demonic Golfer on YouTube. Go check him out. Link in the description down below. Gastrodons are going to be leading off, as I literally said, they won't lead with the Gastrodon. <laughs> it's perfect lead against Bastiodon. Perfect lead. Actually, does really well as well against the entire team. So, if we assume they're going to go for an Earth Power here um, or a Stealth Rocks, we should definitely switch out. I don't have a Grass type move on the team, so that's actually kind of bad. I could Terra Fairy here. And go for an Iron Defense Body Press. And that could be good. Because I don't see Bastion doing too much this game other than this. So I think I will Terra Fairy Iron Defense. I think that's the way to go forward. So I'm going to Terra first turn. Like a noob. <laughs> and I'm going to get... It's not really a newbie strat. Some people do Terra straight away. If, it's, if, it's, if you're relying on the Terra, then Terra away. Anyway, we Terra our Bastion into a Fairy type. Now we can take an Earth Power, no problem. Um, we they do go for an Earth Power straight up, and it does no damage, of, of, of course. Uh, no special defense drop as well, which is nice. We go for an Iron Defense. Now we can slap this thing in the face with a Body Press, which would be really nice. So let's go for a Body Press right now. So they go ahead and withdraw the Gastrodon. What are they going to go into to take a Body Press? Probably Dragapult, right? B12, that's going to be the Dragapult. Yeah, Dragapult comes in. That's fine. Um, so we go for a Body Press. That's obviously gonna, not going to do anything to a B12 Dragapult right there. Um, so now I'm going to go for a foul play because we get foul play. We may as well use it. And if they are physical and they dragon dance here, then we're going to get them. We're going to catch them right off guard. So they go for a flamethrower. That's going to sting a little bit. Not too much. It's choice specs that for sure. Um, as we go for a foul play now, this should do a lot of damage. It does over half, which is fantastic. Dragapult is going to go down the next turn. Um, so they kind of have to switch out here, I would say. So if we assume they're going to switch out, not wanting the dragapult to go down, we should go for a body press or a stealth rock. I kind of want to get Stealth Rocks up because they haven't got... They've got to switch out, haven't they? Something that could take us on. Foul play's fine. We'll go for another Foul Play. Because even if they withdraw into the Muck here, Foul Play will do a little bit of damage. And then we can just Body Press the next turn. She Slug, the Gastron comes in now. That's a fair enough. So we go for a Foul Play here. Does no damage, obviously, to the Gastron. And they are Rocky Helmet, which is really good to know. Really good to know. But this Body Press is going to sting like a madman. If we can get rid of this Gastron now... There we go, we live on free HP, nice. Nice, we go for a body press, that should take them out, no, no, it doesn't take them out. Should do a lot of damage there, which it does. And then the Rocky Helmet takes us out. So even though we're at plus two defense, the body press still did no damage, so they're definitely physically defensive on the Gastrodon, which is good to know. As now we can go into something to finish this thing off. Now I'm, I'm leaning towards Weavile into the knockoff, because knockoff will hurt a lot. We have normal gem fake out with pickpocket, it's just basically a meme type thing. Um, so our other options is Cinderace with a stab U-turn. I think I'll go the Cinderace option. I think Cinderace's stab U-turn will finish this thing off from where it's at. So let's go for a stab U-turn right now. They do withdraw the cheese slug. They don't want to get hit by a high jump kick, which is fair enough. And they're going to go into Unemployed. Who's Unemployed? The Corviknight. Really? Unemployed the Corviknight. I like it. That's, that's a cool nickname. Because there's no more taxi cabs anymore in, in Scarlet and Violet. So, uh, anyway, U turn comes through. It's going to do no damage. They aren't Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. Because they're Rocky Helmet on the slug. 
And now we get a free switch in with whatever we want. So I'm leaning towards the car minding. We can go you in Draco, but that won't make sense. There's no point doing that. Um, we should probably go Sloking and Chili Reception back into Corviknight here. We'll go Corviknight. Uh, we'll go Sloking. We'll Chili Reception on the Corviknight. Because they probably go for a U turn anyway. They might not want to get hit by a Flamethrower, you see. Because Flamethrower is common on Sloking, just not on mine. So I'm going to go for a Chili right now. They do go for a U turn, expecting maybe a Flamethrower or something. That's fair enough. That's a good, good play. But what are they going to go into as we go for a chili reception right now? They probably go a Lola Muck if I had to guess. Chernobyl comes in. That's got to be the Muck. Yep, the Muck comes in. Good play. We go for a chili reception though. That's going to get us out of there. Because we ain't getting hit by no knockoff. And we get a free switch in on this Muck. And Muck is in a very unique position here because um, the Dragapult doesn't want to take a Power Ball at the health it's at. Nothing wants to take a Power Ball really. So I'm going to go into my Cinderace right now. And I'm going to fire a Power Ball at this thing in the face. If the Gastron comes in, we just U-turn on it. So let's go for a Pyro Ball now. So we go for a Pyro Ball. It's going to sting the Muck a little bit. Does over half, which is nice. No burn. We get the knockoff on us. That's fine. They're going to knock off our Heavy Duty Boots. There's no, 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 no power reduction there. Let's go for another Pyro Ball and finish this thing off. Like I said, they don't really have a good switch into our Cinderace right now. So that's great. Shadow Sneak comes through. That's going to sting a little bit. It won't finish us off though. It might Poison Touch us though. If they don't poison touch us, we get the Pyro Ball off that takes care of the Alolan Mug, which is fantastic. So far, so good. Not a lot of hacks or anything like that, which is always nice. B12 comes back in. That's a Dragapult right there. But the, we know this thing's going to be special. So um, they might not think we have Sucker Punch based on the moveset we've shown so far. So I'm going to try and go for a Sucker Punch here. We'll see what they do. Sucker Punch comes through. We're going to change to a Dark type. And yep, they go straight for the attack. So that now they know we've got Sucker Punch, though. They know what our moveset is pretty much. We pretty much have to be a court change variant. Um, so Dragapult goes down, which is fantastic. Cinderace putting in the finest of work right now. And Elegance, I'm assuming the Gardevoir, comes in, which is very interesting. So they're going to trace our Libero, which is interesting. So this thing could be Scarfed. So we have to be real careful what we do here. So I'm going to go into Sloking. I think Sloking is the best option here because they could go for a Moonblast expecting the Weavile to come in, being a Dark type and everything. Um, they could go for whatever they want to take us out. I want to keep Cinderace around though, that's for sure. So... We're going to Drip Queen. There we go. They go for a Moonblast. That's fine. I'm glad I didn't bring Weavile in. They're going to change into a pure Fairy type. And they're going to do a lot of damage to us, which is fine. So the snow is going to stop. And we're going to get some leftovers recovery, which is nice. So and um, the reason I don't run Black Sludge is because if I want to Terra, then I can't Terra. Because if I Terra, I'll get hurt by the Black Sludge. So kind of a double-edged sword right there. So... Um, let's go for a chili here because I think they're going to switch out. They do. So that actually tells me they might be scarfed. They probably just didn't want to get hit by the sludge bomb, but they might be scarfed. Um, the fact that they brought that in against Cinderace as well makes me think it's scarfed. Or they're just bluffing, one of the two. But the Corviknight is going to come in now. We're going to go for a chili reception once again. Get that snow up, which is going to boost our Weavile's physical defense. Not that it matters at the moment because Weavile is not the one coming in. Um, so what we can do is what I need the Cinderace for now is this thing. Um, we're either going to force a terror, and if we force a terror, that's going to be great. If we force a terror, it's going to be great. So now let's see what they do. So they have got leftovers, which is good to know. I, I think they revealed that earlier, actually. I can't remember. Um, let's go for a Pyro Ball. I don't see any reason not to go for a Pyro Ball here, because they have to either switch out or terror. They do switch out. What are they going to go into? Stone Journey? She Slug. The Gastrodon. Gastron's a good switch there. So we go for a Pyro Ball. Cinderace is putting the pressure on right now. And then we just go for a U-turn straight up. So we go for a U-turn. And unfortunately, this does mean... Because I'm not confident Pyro Ball would have KO'd there. But I know U-turn does. However, Rocky Helmet is going to take out my Cinderace in the process. But Cinderace got three KOs that game. Three KOs. It got KO'd the Muck. KO'd the Dragapult. It lived two attacks from the Alola Muck, which is great. And Gastron as well went down. Um, so I think it did pretty well, to be honest with you. So now, um, we're in a difficult position because it's like, what do we do now? Um, I, I'm going to go Cyclizar. They don't have an Intimidate Mon or anything like that. So we can just go for a Draco Meteor. So we'll go Cyclizar now. They go 4,000 years, which is the Stone Journey. Has to be because it's the last remaining Mon that hasn't been revealed yet. So let's go for a... I want to go for a knockoff first and foremost because I don't know what this Stone Journey wants to do. But I want to get rid of his item if it's got one. Loaded dice. Rock polish with rock blast loaded dice. That's awesome. That is awesome. Let's Draco Meteor right here and now. 
And the thing is, Stone Journey is actually quite fast, which is really awesome. So we're going to hit once, twice, three times without the load of dice. Yeah, three times. That's fine. We can handle that. We go for a Draco right now. That's going to take out the Stone Journey with its paper thin special, special defense. So Stone Journey goes down to a Cyclozar's Draco Meteor, which is fantastic. Now we just have our good old Corviknight and our Gardevoir. Um, I say R. They have their good old Corv Corviknight and their good old Gardevoir. So now what do we do? Because that Corviknight is going to be a tough cookie to take down. That's for sure. I say we go Weavile. I say we go Weavile. They're going to see we've gone Weavile. And they're probably going to go into Gardevoir if I had to guess. Unemployed goes in. That's the Corviknight. So we don't want to stay in against Corviknight. That's for sure. We don't want to stay in against Corviknight. That's for sure. Um, this might be a good opportunity to get Suicune in. I'm going to go Cyclizar because it doesn't do much. If, if they're Scarf Gardevoir, which I think they might be, unless they were bluffing it, then I think Cyclizar is pretty useless here. If only I had Overheat, right? They go for a U-turn. That's fine. That's going to do no damage. And this is where we're going to be. This is where it's going to reveal whether it's a Scarf Gardevoir or not. Elegance comes in the Gardevoir. That's great. So Gardevoir comes in. They trace a Regenerator, which is going to be really useful for them if they need to switch out. And I'm going to go for a knockoff just to see if they are actually Scarfed or not. They are Scarfed. So Psychic's going to take us out, which is really good for them. I personally would have gone for a Moonblast there. Because now I have no issues going into Weavile. We have no issue going into Weavile because we are, of course, a Dark type. So Weavile comes in. We get a free knockoff off on the Corviknight. So let's go for a knockoff. They aren't Rocky Helmet. We know that. The leftovers. So we're going to get rid of the leftovers, which would be really nice. So Corviknight comes in. Weavile's going to put on the pressure a bit. I mean, not literally. The Corviknight's putting on the pressure. We go for a knockoff. That does a nice solid amount of damage as well to getting rid of them leftovers. So uh, now we can go into Suicune. I think Suicune's a good answer here to the Corviknight. They pretty much have to go for a Roost here. I'd say they go for a Roost. Or a U-turn, one of the two. So we'll go North Wind, the Suicune. Put some pressure on, which is great. They go for a Brave Bird. It's going to do no damage to Suicune, unfortunately for them. So uh, now we're in a very good position because we can start Calm Minding up. I am going to Calm Mind up. I'm going to finish this with Crocune. So we'll Calm Mind Suicune real quick. They probably go for a U-turn here. And they probably go for a Trick with Gardevoir. So they do go for the U-turn as expected. They're going to go for a trick with the Gardevoir. I know that for a fact. Because they're going to want to lock us into Calm Mind. But if we can get a Choice Scarf and a Calm Mind going off with Suicune, that's fine. We can do that. We just need to spam Scold at this point. So Elegance comes in the Gardevoir. And like I said, we're going to they're going to trace our pressure. That's fine. Like I said, we're going to go for a Scold here. Because they're going to trick us, no doubt. Or Thunderbolt. But I don't think they'll Thunderbolt. Let's go for a Scold. I think they trick us. Thunderbolt's fine. We're going to live that because we've got plus one, uh, plus one special defense. No paralysis. We go for a Scold. Does over half to the Gardevoir, which is fantastic. Um, now, I do want to keep you around. If they're going to go for a Thunderbolt, then we should go for a... Because they didn't roost with Corviknight. So I think we win this with Weavile. Let's go for the Weavile switch into the Thunderbolt. We know they're locked into Thunderbolt. We switch out into Weavile. There we go. Midnight comes through. They go for a Thunderbolt, which is fine. We go for a Fake Out here, and we steal that um, Choice Scarf. They do withdraw the Gardevoir, though. They do withdraw the Gardevoir. Interesting. So Gardevoir is going to be withdrawn. Um, we go for a Fake Out, of course. That's going to be boosted by the normal gem, but it's still not going to do much damage. However, it should put this thing in range for Triple Axel. That's what it should do. Put it in range for Triple Axel. So, I think. I don't know. Let's go for the Triple Axel and find out. There's no reason not to. If we can hit all three times, that'd be great. We do hit all three times, which is fantastic. And the Corviknight goes down to the Triple Axel, which is fantastic. So, um, we don't steal an item, obviously, because they have no item. We knocked it off. So, we can still steal this Gardevoir's Choice Scarf. Now, is that the right thing to do, though? Do we want this thing to be locked into a move? So, they trace our Pickpocket. Which means even if we go for an Ice Shard here, we still lose, right? I say we sack off Suicune and we win this with Weavile. I say we sack off Suicune and win this with Weavile. 
All we need to do is go for the fake out, nick their choice scarf, and then go for a, uh, a triple axle the next turn. Or a knockoff. Knockoff should finish the job. They go for a T-Bolt, expecting the Suicune. That's great. That's probably the best move they can lock themselves into. It hits the Slow King, hits the Weavile. However, however, Weavile can come in now. We can nick that Choice Scarf. I don't think Fake Out KOs. I don't think Ice Shard KOs either. So we go for the Fake Out. Fake Out steals the Choice Scarf, which is great. Ice Shard might have KO'd, actually. They flinch and can't move. Now we go for an Ice Shard. Apparently, Pickpocket doesn't work the way I thought it was. I thought Fake Out would make you steal the item, but it doesn't. It's when it's when, it's when when the opposing Pokemon makes direct contact with you. I did not know that. But anyway, alas, it's fine. Normal gem's fine. GG Caddy, that was a fun one. But anyway, here's the team. Try it out if you want to use the code on the screen. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all the wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.